All right, what's up, y'all? So today we're working on Donald Walker's old school 1840 simple method of boxing. Now, what I like about it, it keeps it very, very simple. Now, can you utilize this in a boxing match these days? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends whether, whether you're training or not. This is basically more for entertainment purposes only, right? So basically what I liked about it was, was he takes more of that cross guard or that former guard he utilizes. So understand, 1840, he's using more of that cross arm guard. He uses more of a vertical for a lead and a diagonal for the right, and he utilizes a leverage guard, but more on a defense. Where normally your leverage guard is coming up and down with walkers, he's actually stepping back as somebody's coming forward. All right, so here we go. So first things first, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you, is his basic striking. So the stance in the old school method was usually one on the stomach and one hand out. You know, your legs were about right here pointing forward. Now the difference in Donald Walker's was, and the simple method was, he extended his legs a little bit more. They were more bent, right? So more balanced with this. And the hands were closer to the face. Now he also says, whenever you threw a jab, the right hand came close to the nose. Whenever you threw a right, the left hand retracts and again comes closer to the nose. So again, here's another one where he's not telling you to you know, keep your hand at the pit of the stomach when you're throwing blows, but he's actually telling you to go ahead and block your face or keep your hands close to your face. So that's really the only um, striking that he covers. Now what he covers is your basic defense, right? And how to get into that old school Daniel Mendoza chopper blow. Now basically, if we were here and he was to throw his jab, I'm immediately going to bring my right hand in this position, leaning my head slightly back to the right and staying on the back foot. And again, what this is going to do is, even if he throws that right, it's going to keep me out of distance. And what it's going to allow me to do from here is easily come forward to the nose here, come with the hook. I mean, it really just depends on what you want to throw out of it, but it does set up that Mendoza guard. So again, if we're here, he throws out that jab, it's here, one, two, three. Now, we would utilize that exact same guard with his right hand. So if we were here and he throws out his right hand, again, even if he don't hit the elbow, I'm just looking to guard my face. And again, just by taking this hand and slapping and coming down, one, two, three, four, five, Again, it's whatever combinations are coming out, but the basics of the jab is one, down, and the right is one, down. Now, the last one is, and again, this is a very, very simple method, is utilizing the whole leverage guard, but more on a defense. So we'll start off just with the jab. So if I was in this position here, and he was to throw out a jab, I'm gonna take a step back now. Now, if he steps forward and throws out that right, I'm gonna take a step back and now, when I find that perfect uh, time to counter, there's when you wanna go ahead and throw something. So again, if somebody is uh, running at you fast with that straight blitz, that's gonna be real hard to try to you know, go on the back foot and back foot and back foot and then end up getting hit. So this is, remember, this is for that old school boxing where they're really throwing out those real long shots. So again, if we were throwing out that jab and coming forward with the right arm, I can't the left. Again, all I'm doing is reversing my back foot. So one more time. Again, he throws out that right, left, and again, it's finding that moment to counter your shot. But anyways, basically that was it. Thank you from Donald Walker's 1840 uh, manual on boxing, the simpler method of redoing the stance and just working on the whole guards and Leverage guard. All right, let me know what you think.